Hello guys, I'm back again. I put a poll on Instagram asking for questions or anything you guys wanted to know in the future. And I got several good ones, but today I'm gonna start with whether I cook my food myself or not and what that process kind of looks like. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. Okay, so there's more than one place that I can go to get food and there's I'll start with the markets. So the markets are um, individual people who sell things usually out of these um, shacks or makeshift um, stands and they get food fresh um, from their own gardens at home or from their farms and we buy them cheap and then they resell them at the open market. Um, we do a lot of bartering and trying to lower that price there in the market. I've had to do that a few times. Um, so yeah, markets are usually pretty messy, pretty dirty. There's usually water and mud all in the walkways and it's pretty loud and usually pretty stinky because you have a variety of food smells going on with like fish and they're chopping up meats right in front of you so it can be pretty smelly. The other type of place that I go to is a store called Carafu. That would be a lot like our American stores, like Walmart, except just imagine way, way fresher. So you will go in and you'll just see fresh fruits lining the refrigerators. Um, they do butcher the meat right there um, in front of you. You can watch them butcher. They have fresh fish just laying. They actually have live fish that you can take. Um, they do have some boxed and pre-made items, but those tend to be very expensive. So I try to stay away from those, but otherwise it's just like a normal store. They have a little bit of food, cleaning, clothes, you know, a little bit of gardening stuff, just a little bit of everything, just like our normal Walmarts. And of course it's very, very expensive. Okay, so what I do is I've kind of been doing a little bit of both. I do make about 50 to 70% of my meals here. Um, mostly because <laughs> their food is somewhat difficult for me to get used to, so I am making some of my own, and also it's to keep from being a burden to um, Ms. Jacobin and to some of the other people who might have to pay to go get me some food. So I do make my own food. I stick with usually egg salads. I do um, salads in general. I eat a lot of fruit. I have toast in the morning. Um, what else do I eat? I've made hamburgers, I've made french toast, I've made just very small things with the stuff that I could find around. It was very hard to find cinnamon for my french toast and it was very pricey. Um, so everything that I eat that's American is definitely pricier than what they would usually have here. And then the food that I have had here is usually the rice dishes with lots and lots of plantain, which I don't like plantain at all, and it's in every single meal, so it's, I'm trying so hard to just eat it, but oh my gosh, it's so hard sometimes. Um, you have the tomato-based sauces, and usually they have either chicken, fish, um, rarely beef, but sometimes it's an occasional. Um, they have this thing called fufu, so fufu, I've been confused about. It's basically like anything that's been mashed or ground. So like our mashed potatoes would be considered a fufu, but then you also have things like grits or things. Those might also be considered a fufu. Um, I've had fufu here, which is like a cornmeal fufu, and it, it's kind of sticky and you eat it with your hands. Um, so yeah, that's, that's about the food wise I've had here. I've had a soup called peanut soup which was really interesting. I actually like it, which is surprising because I hate peanuts, but peanut soup has peanuts in it. It tastes nothing like peanuts. It just is super spicy. And I have that over rice. It's the bomb, okay? So <laughs> the food here can, um, it's been a little bit of everything. So I make some of my own. They make some for me. Like they might make me two or three meals a week and then Every once in a while, I'll get pizza or spaghetti from a restaurant. So yeah, it's pretty chill. A lot of times I eat only about two meals a day just because of sleep. I want to sleep in the morning. And then mid-afternoon, I just don't have enough time. 
So usually I average about two meals. So the days that I have time to eat in the morning, I don't have time to eat lunch. Or the times I don't have time to eat in the morning, I do have time to eat lunch. So it's kind of a weird way that my schedule works, but it's something all good. So I hope that answers your questions. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.